We sound like a broken record, but the heat and humidity once again sticking around for us on our Sunday. In fact, so much so that the humidity tied a record that was set just this uh, just last year. Actually, the record high dew point 73. That's where we're currently standing right now. That's when you know that the air is really sticky. Despite that, though, there's not much rain around. There was a downpour near the airport in Roanoke not too long ago. We've got a couple spotty downpours right on the Bath and Highland County line, kind of sitting still, but also raining themselves out. So that's actually going to weaken as we go through the next few minutes. Overnight, we're dry, but we are muggy again. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Usually this time of year, your temperatures are dropping into the upper 40s and low 50s. By the way, on the morning commute, might have to watch out for some patchy fog early on. Future tracker around midnight showing a few clouds, a few patches of fog around the area. But much like today, I think we see that mix of clouds and sunshine by the afternoon. Perhaps a few more clouds than what we saw today. And any chance of a spotty downpour is going to be quick, not very long lasting, and it's not going to be anything that kind of ruins your day tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. Yet again, just warm and humid temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s for highs. You factor in the humidity, it's probably going to feel a little warmer than that as temperatures reach about 80 in both the Star City and the Hill City. Slightly cooler Tuesday with winds coming in out of the east. Highs in the mid to upper 70s with more clouds around. But again, the humidity may make that 75 feel like 78, 79, 80 degrees. So beyond Tuesday, though, is when we're going to have to keep track of Tropical Storm Michael. Right now it's around the Yucatan Peninsula, and here's where it's going. As of the latest track from the National Hurricane Center, forecast to make landfall near the Big Bend or the Florida Panhandle by Wednesday afternoon as a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane. Where it goes beyond that is still kind of up in the air. You can see the wider that this cone gets from the National Hurricane Center. That kind of tells us where the center of the storm can possibly be by Thursday or by Friday. So let's break down the two scenarios for you. Let's say that this tracks closer to the Appalachian Mountains. That would mean higher rain totals for us gustier winds on Thursday and Friday. But if this storm system tracks closer to, say, I-95, that would mean a later arrival time for scattered showers for us, more rain towards the east, and a lesser flood threat. So here's what we do know about this storm right now. It poses the chance for some heavy rain. And again, the, the, the key word there is the chance. All right, We're still kind of deciphering between those two scenarios. And I do have to reiterate, this is nothing like Florence. Florence barely moved. This thing is going to be booking it because the cold front is going to push it out of the area. So for more updates on this storm and on our weather pattern throughout the week, we'll be doing a Facebook Live at 9 p.m. Your extended forecast showing that rain chances are pretty minimal Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. But then depending on the track of Michael, we could see a chance of some heavier rain Thursday into Friday. The fact that this storm is going to be moving quickly is going to make the flood threat pretty minimal for us in a worst case scenario Thursday into Friday. But watch what happens Friday through Sunday. Things are going to be cooling down. Highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s, finally feeling like October.